Welcome. Today we're going to learn about Lob's print, mail, and address verification APIs using Postman. Specifically, our public workspace available on Postman.com. Let's get started. If you want to follow along today, you'll need to create a free Postman and Lob account. Your Lob account comes with 300 free address verifications. Now, I've already created mine, so if you want to hit pause and take care of that, then come back. That's fine. We're here on Postman.com's homepage, and we'll start by clicking the Explore link up at the top. Next, I'll click in the search box, select Workspaces, and type in Lob, and hit Enter. You'll click on Lob Public Workspace. I'm going to stop here because at this point you need to know that in order to interact with a public workspace and use the APIs, you actually need to fork the collection into your own workspace. So I'm going to do that right now. I'll click on Lob API and then I'll click the fork link at the top. I'll give it the name Lob Demo. You can call it whatever you like. And I'll click Fork Collection. You can see I've got my lob demo fork here. I'll expand that. I'll go into addresses and click create a new address object. What am I going to pass in for my body? Let's click on the body tab and we can see we've got our address and city and state all defined and I'll click the send button to create this address. Ah, the first thing we encounter is a 401 my API key isn't valid. That's because I haven't gotten it from Lob and put it into Postman. So let's do that next. But before I do that, we need to think about where do we want to put our API keys in Postman. Now, a really popular place is inside of your environments. So I'll click on environments on the left and none exist. I could create it manually. But here's the neat thing about public workspaces. You can actually fork an environment from another workspace into your own. So let's do that right now. I'll click on Explore. I'm going to search for the Lob workspace again. In Lob's public workspace on the left, I'll click on Environments, select Lob Public Environment, and then I'll click Fork again. And I'll call this Lob demo env and I'll fork that into my workspace. All right, now it's time to get our API keys from lob. I'll go to lob.com and I'll log in. Here on the overview page, I just want to point out on the left side you'll see lots of different objects and endpoints you can interact with like postcards and we have a toggle here between test and live. Everything we're going to do with Postman today is using the test API key, except for US verifications, of which you get 300 API calls free per month when you're doing address verification. So we'll use the live API key for when we do our address verification. Importantly, if you try to toggle to live, it's going to ask you for your credit card because in the live mode, you are actually sending real physical um, letters and checks and postcards. So we don't want to send any today. We're just going to use our test API keys. You'll find those by going to settings, click on API keys, and I'm going to copy my live environment, go back here, click into current value and paste. And I'll do the same thing for my test environment. I'll paste that. And then super important, click the save button. I can close that now that I'm done. And on the left side, click on Collections, click on Lob API, and now go into my address and click Create Address Object. Let's try hitting the Send button again. Hmm, now you might be confused. My API keys are set in Postman. Why am I getting the 401? Well, if you look up in the right-hand corner, it says No Environment, and if I click and expand, I can see there's my lob public environment. So I'll select that, and now let's try sending. And there we go. We just created our first address, made our first API call with lob. You should be really proud of yourself. Good job. We want to use this address to actually create a postcard. So let's go down to our postcards, 
and we will click create a postcard and I'll go into my body and you can see we've got a few required fields like the description who we're sending it to and we've got some inline HTML for our front and the back of our postcard. Lob has lots of other endpoints, including templates, where you can actually create very complex HTML templates and insert images and things like that. We're not going to use those today. We're going to do everything in line just to keep it simple for this demo. Yeah, let's go ahead and try sending this and see what happens. Ah, we're getting an address not found because this address here is just a default value. It isn't the one that I have for my addresses. So I'll go back to the list all addresses endpoint in my collection and I'll hit send. And there's an address right there with an ID. I'm gonna copy that and I'll go down to create postcard and I'll go in and edit that variable and I'll paste in an address that belongs to me. Let's hit send. And boom, you just created your first postcard. Now, what is that postcard going to look like? Well, we can go down here and get this URL. We can select it, copy, open a new tab and paste. And there we are. This is our postcard. It says, hello world and goodbye. And there's my address. But you know, that's not very interesting. I really want to dynamically insert my name. I want to say hello Sid. So what you can do is you can actually define variables using two curly braces, the name of the variable, and two more curly braces. Now we need to actually pass in those variables using an additional field called merge variables with the name and I'll change that to Sid and I'm going to go ahead and hit save and let's try sending that API request again. All right, I've got my URL and we enter and here we go. Hello, Sid, goodbye, and my postcard. So not really fancy. You can definitely dress these up with images and all kinds of interesting styles, but we're just keeping it really basic for this demo. So that's addresses, that's postcards. I'm gonna show you a really neat feature that's part of Postman if you haven't seen this before. If you click on an endpoint and you look on the right side navigation, you'll see some little um, angle brackets that says code. And if I select that, I can actually select different languages and I could actually create a node request with my authorization header set, my endpoint and everything I need I can copy and paste that into my app. Um, what's always fun is curl. So I'm going to go in here and I click this little copy snippet. I'll quickly search for my terminal and I'm going to paste my curl command and hit enter and boom, I just got a list. I've got two addresses it found and it returned into my data array. So pretty cool stuff. Now the last thing I want to point out is that we are setting the API key on the folders inside of our collection. So here we have our test API key is set and we're doing the same thing for uh, US address verifications. Things like autocomplete need to have a live API uh, key with a credit card, but with verify we don't. So I'm gonna go in here and choose authorization and here's my live API key and in the body, I'm passing in this address and the zip code. I wanna know, can I deliver to this address? Is it valid? Let's go ahead and hit send. And it comes back and it says it's deliverable, but it's missing the unit. So that's pretty important for me to prompt a customer to give me uh, their actual unit or apartment number. So we make sure we have a fully deliverable address. That wraps up our look at Lobs API collection in our public workspace. Please comment below in this video. Tell us what you think. If there's more you'd like to learn about with Lobs API, let us know. And make sure you subscribe to get all the great videos to learn more about Lobs print, mail, and address verification APIs. Have a great day.